Caden Gooley right on him to take the punt away. Robinson needs to body out on Barrett. Down he goes. Gooley goes after him. Oposo jumps on him. Slavkowski trying to pull Oposo back, and everyone's going to pile into the corner. This shouldn't be happening. In the last few years, the NHL has become less and less physical, and it's natural considering the amount of talent in the league. But because the game has become less physical, more and more players are leaving themselves far more vulnerable than ever before. There was certainly more contact in the league 20 years ago, and we arguably have more dangerous hits from behind and awkward collisions today because guys just don't know how to give and receive a hit like they used to. The NHL has a hitting problem. And based on how the game is evolving, this problem may already be out of control. In the current NHL, there are few games where the physicality is noticeable and takes you out of your seat. Of course, things get dialed up during the playoffs, but hitting in general is a hot topic in the NHL as of late. In just the last week of games alone, it seems like every night there is a hit from behind or some form of boarding penalty. So what exactly is the issue here? Are guys just playing dirtier or do players really not know how to protect themselves? Well, 15 to 20 years ago, the NHL was naturally more physical, which meant you had far more clean hits along with far more dirty hits. But as the NHL attempted to phase out headshots and change the rules to make the game more free-flowing for talented players, the art of hitting started to take a little bit of a back seat. Coaches and GMs started to prefer players with more speed and skill, and that had a trickle-down effect for every level of hockey. In Canada, for example, kids don't start to hit until age 13. And due to recent studies about the effects of hitting, there's been a push to actually increase that age to 15 years. And while that may just be the direction that the game is headed, the younger players in today's NHL are already paying the price for not being fully aware on how to embrace contact in these situations. And as silly as that might sound for a professional hockey player, coaches and current players are seeing the same thing. A few weeks back, Flyers head coach John Tortorella spoke up about this exact issue after this incident on rookie Luke Hughes. Flyers' Garnett Hathaway got a major for this hit because the whistle for the icing was delayed and Hughes wasn't expecting to get rocked. Hathaway is playing to the whistle, Hughes lets up just a tiny bit, and the result is him being hurt on the play. Afterwards, Tortorella said that they've tried to turn this league into a no-hit league, and now guys are just simply not ready to be hit. Now this right here is a unique situation due to the ref not blowing it down for an icing sooner, but the point was that any player should be prepared to play to the whistle no matter what. As a rookie, that's something Hughes learned the hard way that game, but it's something that he shouldn't even have to learn at this point of his career. And it's not his fault either. It's simply because of the era of hockey that he came up in is naturally less physical. But right now in the NHL, the league is caught in between two generations of physicality. Sportsnet's Justin Board had a great article on this recently, which I'll link in the bio down below. But there are older players in the league who grew up in a more physical game, and it's clashing with the newer generation of players. The result is a mix of questionable hits, and some guys getting caught in positions in which they should be prepared to take contact. The new age hockey player is comfortable going into what Bourne describes as no-fly zones which is basically cutting across the middle of the ice, especially if you have your head down. We've seen ample examples in past years of why you just don't do things like that, yet in today's NHL, the hesitation isn't there from players because usually there isn't a Scott Stevens type of defenseman there to end your career if you make that mistake. And when you think of it, the best players in the NHL right now are the players who can do this extremely well. They change speeds at the blue line, they can drive the play by going east-west, and this is how the craftiest players in the NHL are operating and creating offense. But the lack of the threat has led to a generation of players who simply aren't expecting to get blown up in these situations. Which is probably why a player like Truba has the heavyweight title for throwing open ice hits. The issue is that players aren't expecting it and bracing for it appropriately, and why would you when only a handful of players in the NHL can make you pay for doing so? However, this issue becomes more prominent when it comes to making plays along the wall. The NHL has done a good job for the most part at eliminating gruesome headshots that became infamous with players like Matt Cook and Rafi Torres, but players who have possession of the puck should never assume that the other player won't make a bad or dangerous decision. The flurry of recent incidents don't all fall under this category as some of them are indeed malicious hits. 
This hit by Cousins on Gabranson is a slimy hit in my opinion. And that was one that was initially a major, reduced to a minor, and the players decided to police the game afterwards since the refs didn't. And then you have this hit here by Robinson on Barron, but this one was considered a game misconduct. And while that should be a boarding penalty, Barron does put himself in a terrible spot. He knows there's pressure there, yet he turns his back, he doesn't move the puck or brace for the hit in any way. He just assumes that Robinson won't hit him. That assumption, paired with the inability to properly brace for the contact, is where the danger lies for players. And it's happening more and more frequently as the newer wave of players enter the league. And this isn't solely on the players getting run either, but it's an acquired skill to know how to both give and receive a hit. As a player along the boards, you need to anticipate that contact. You can either use your speed and stay tight to the boards, or you can initiate that contact like McDavid does here to buy yourself some space. Coaches like Tortorella understand the importance of this, but so do some of the older players in the league. Matias Ekholm is a solid veteran defenseman for the Oilers, who is part of the older generation in the NHL at 33 years old, and he talked about how important it is to sense danger on the ice. There's a reason why certain players almost never get caught in vulnerable positions, and it's because they have the unique awareness to understand where the pressure is and how to evade it while making a special play. Guys like Marner, Kane, and especially Pavel Datsuk are and were the gold standard for this skill. But to compound this issue of guys not knowing how to take a hit, NHL players are aware that they can get a penalty out of it. This almost encourages receiving players to put themselves in a bad spot. As Ekholm explains, guys who know how to absorb hits may want to be hit from behind with the hopes of drawing a penalty. That mentality itself can be dangerous if a player underestimates the strength of another player or just assesses the situation wrong in general. Now on the other side, very few players know how to give a solid open ice hit anymore. Truba is probably the best and even though he has some questionable deliveries, he still possesses a dying skill that 98% of the league just aren't capable of anymore. It's a real skill to understand how and when to throw a proper hit. As for the hits from behind, it's not like every single player is purposely trying to run their guy through the boards. The game is naturally getting faster and faster, and these types of collisions are going to happen more frequently. That's why it's so important that players know how to go into these situations and know how to properly take a hit. But even when there is a clean hit in today's NHL, I'm sure you've noticed how there's always a fight or a scrum to go along with it to stop the play. This isn't usually the case in the playoffs as guys don't want to take an instigator in a big game, but in the regular season, if a guy gets rocked, there's a fight that follows almost every single time. Now I get this trend on both sides. On one hand, why can't we just have a clean hit and keep playing hockey? And on the other side, players simply want to stick up for their teammate. If you see your captain or best player laying on the ice hurt, you drop the gloves now and ask questions later. It's the message that matters the most. The NHL, whether they like it or not, has and will continue to have a hitting problem if younger players aren't taught to anticipate hard and legal contact. And yet the irony of the situation is that should happen way before any players even enter the NHL. If the sport wants to survive, they will likely never remove physicality from hockey. It's the great equalizer that when paired with the speed and talent of the game, makes it the best sport on earth to watch. But if the players in the league want to avoid future injuries and controversy, it starts with the next generation of players learning how to effectively give and receive a hit because despite the direction that some may want the game to go, hitting can never leave the NHL. Even if it is a problem, that won't be going away anytime soon.